It's Seinfeld premiering Thursday right after Cheers on NBC. July 5th, 1989. NBC debuts a new sitcom built around stand-up comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Wouldn't it be great if you could ask a woman what she's thinking? <laughs> what a world that would be. If you... First called the Seinfeld Chronicles, the title later shortened to just Seinfeld. The show is about nothing. <laughs> well, it's, it's not about nothing. No, it's about nothing. Of course, it wasn't about nothing, but it was about the kinds of things that stand-up comedians talked about a lot, but that sitcoms generally didn't. Issues of how one eats snack foods. Did, did you just double dip that shit? Issues of shrinkage. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Master of Your Domain, perhaps the most memorable episode uh, Seinfeld ever did. I'm out. <laughs> wow, that was fast. It changed television in that. It gave us a whole new way of looking at the world, a whole new kind of comedy. I didn't say anything. It was the start of, like, the alternative family comedies. People who are not roommates, who don't live under the same roof, who aren't related and don't even work in the same place. Seinfeld com establishes that, so that becomes completely the norm. See, now it's weird again. I think Friends was obviously a young Seinfeld. <laughs> Every successful new kind of show changes television because it makes all a whole bunch of other stuff possible. Uh, my name's Louis C.K., and uh, he said to be here around 2. He said the doctor doesn't make appointments. Oh, well, see, I know him. Louis is probably the closest thing we have to a modern-day Seinfeld. <laughs> is this how it ends? Seinfeld ended its run in 1998. There's been no official reunion unless you count this one. Filmed for Curb Your Enthusiasm, the series developed by Seinfeld's co-creator, Larry David. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> What's that? Excuse me? Seinfeld's characters live on, just as they were in syndication, still impacting TV and the culture. One of the best shows ever, and not just influences comedy writers, it kind of influenced everything. It's like people's dialogue, people's references. We're not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He's just a dentist. Yeah, and you're an anti-dentite. A brazier for a man. The man's ear, get it? Nothing for you. Every weird thing that happens in life turns into like, oh, do you remember that Seinfeld? It was just a perfect show. Perfect. So when somebody has B.O., the O usually stays with the B. Once the B leaves, the O goes with it. Nichelle Turner, CNN, New York.